All right, come on, boy. Come here. Come on. Right here. Good boy. Come here. We got Marty like three years ago. He was a rescue um, from Little White Dog Rescue in Nebraska. And uh, Shay found him online and sent me some pictures and I thought she was joking. And then she said, uh, we got Marty. I was actually home his first day coming to Shay's house. And we met him, he had on a little diaper. He was like half the size at the time. And uh, we kind of fell in love with him. And so yeah, we've had him for three years now and he's pretty much our whole world. Yeah, I'm just, I'm big into rescues. There's um, a lot of animals, dogs, what we're looking at are need homes and had a rough start to life. And um, I just would rather take those dogs. All Marty likes to do is just, he likes to play ball. He likes to go on long walks. Shay takes him on walks. I enjoy going outside and playing ball with Shay and him. Sit, hey, sit. He seems to know a lot of tricks when food is on the line and there's treats available. But yeah, I don't think he's the smartest dog in the world, but all of a sudden you put food in front of him and he seems to, he seems to be a pretty smart Stanford dog. Come here. What's really weird is after a certain amount of time, he will only go for certain colored balls. So after a while, he doesn't like the blue one anymore. Right? Yeah. Oh, he didn't see that one. Or maybe he didn't want that one. We've always wanted to time his 40, you know? Come here. All right, buddy. Ready? Ready? Go! Go! I got him at a 4-3. Come on. Let's go. You wanna go in the pool, huh? Marty doesn't really like pools or swimming or going in the lakes or anything, but they brought this little Tupperware box, uh, just a Tupperware thing like that, and they filled it with water, and sure enough, we kind of put a paw in. He started just using it as drinking water, um, but then he, you know, ventured off to getting in, and it's been a game changer for us. Now we have a couple kiddie pools, and as soon as he gets hot, he just plops down in his little pool. Marty, has this weird infatuation with smelling things that smell disgusting. So if there's animal feces or dead something that he's walking by, he not only wants to smell it, but he wants to rub his face all on it and get it all covered on him. It's the most bizarre thing ever. This one night started to get just a little bit cold, so Shay didn't want to bundle all up and go out there, crack the door open, there was a skunk. So Marty takes up on a full sprint towards the skunk and as the skunk is spraying him, he is shoving his face into the skunk's sprayer, up in his stuff, just loving every moment of his life. Shay freaking out, you know, is the skunk gonna attack Marty? Is Marty gonna attack the skunk? She's freaking out. I would too, it's like probably one in the morning or something, in the middle of the night that she lets him out. So her idea is like, Marty, get in the house. So then Marty sprints up the stairs, runs in, and his routine is to come jump on dad. So I'm sleeping, getting ready for a hard Thursday padded practice tomorrow, and I get jumped on by the dog who's just been drenched in skunk smell. It, in, in like this spot on his face, like right next to his nose, yes. We shaved him, we milk washed him, we uh, tomato juice, we did anything we could, and for a full year, if like when he would get wet, that skunk smell would come back. We were boiling vinegar in the house. I mean, I was mad because now the whole house, you should just kept him outside. But again, the skunk was outside. It was, but that, so sometimes we call him skunk butt face because he shoved his face into a skunk's butt. I'm a dog person because I, Marty changed my life. I never really had a dog that was my dog growing up. We had a family dog and whatever. I had so many things going on, but to like, actually take ownership and, and responsibility, which I know is mainly hers, but um, I don't know. I've learned a lot from Marty and through, Marty was there through a double knee surgery, uh, and a meniscus surgery, ACL surgery, uh, through the COVID stuff and just like been a rock. And so it's always fun so much, so often in football, your identity is just tied to being a football player, being a football player, being a football player. And yes, you wanna be a good boyfriend or son or brother or whatever. Um, but then like having Marty is more of a uh, ongoing process. Like, oh, I gotta be a good dog dad. I gotta go, you know, do fun stuff with him. And so it's just, uh, 
nice to find passion and joy outside of sport. I love this stuff so much I do on the field. It's hard to ever try to replicate that off the field. And Marty sometimes uh, brings some of that excitement and passion. This week's adoptable pup is Delta. To learn more about pups like Delta looking for their forever home, visit warriordogrescue.com.